All right, guys, back at the beach. Long time, no video. And that is because of my living situation at the moment. I'm spending most of my time in Seoul, South Korea now. So as you probably know, there's no beaches there. So I haven't been out metal detecting much, but right now I'm back in Vietnam, back in Da Nang and I'm with my buddy, Mike. And I can just see him hunting up there. Anyway, hopefully I find some stuff and I can make a video today. Stand by. Decent sounding target. Actually, not so good actually. Bit of iron in this one. So we got 65, 68. That's been very quiet today, guys. Oh, there we go. A little bracelet. Found some bling. I have got a loud 65. We're on a little bit of a iron patch here and between the iron there's some um, okay sounding targets. Not the best, but... Oh, okay. That's why it was so loud. Spoon. Okay, got a loud and clear 61 target. Seems to want a little patch, which is good. Uh, let's rinse this one in the waves. Oh, nothing. Thought I got it out. Ah. Ah, there we go. We have a coin. Uh, I know what this is. This is 101 from Korea. <laughs> I might be spending this. Okay. It's a 50 target right between some iron. Uh, I'm just talking to the camera. <laughs> uh, Mike thought I was talking to him. Feels weird talking to the camera after all these years. Okay, another coin. Actually, it looks like a token. Let's keep going. Hey guys, uh, 78 target. Uh, this one's between lots of iron. Anyway, the dais is pretty good at getting between the um, targets. Oh, there we go. It's like a little ring. Yeah, it's like a little silver ring. Okay, let's keep going. Not a bad target. It's out deep, but it is, um, doesn't sound that good actually. <laughs> anyway. Low target out deep. Can't ignore it. Oh. oh. Got it. <laughs> ah, damn. I thought it might have been gold then because it was a low target, but I can see some, uh, looks like some rust. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that, guys. Anyway, I'll check that one out. This one may be gold. Rang up like gold, but that little link there looks a little bit um, rusted by plate. Has like a plate kind of look. Interesting. 
So guys, I'm working on this like 65 target. I didn't want to turn on the camera because it sounded bad, but uh, you never know what it could be. Well, I can see a gold color in the scoop. It doesn't look like. What the hell is that? Sounds like there's a target down there still. I don't know what to do. Hang on, let's see what this is. Yeah, this thing's uh, this thing looks small. I don't want to lose it for the. What the hell is that? Idea what that is it's gold color but okay got a 71 target we're just heading south and just looking for little patches zigzagging down and uh just found a canadian coin hey, a what is that oh cool yeah we made this baby a little patch Okay, I can hear something. Alright. Got some bling. It's like a bling hair clip. <laughs> that looks gold on that side. What's that? It looks gold on that side. Uh, yeah, that's like yeah, the, the light hit it whenever I looked at it. I was like, whoa! Was like, yeah. <laughs> okay, solid 82. already oh, there we go it's a coin nah yeah. coin 20 euro cents that's it for today so only really one interesting target it looks like a gold bangle type thing which I shall check out when I get back uh, hang around for the wrap up. As I mentioned in the video title, this will probably be the last metal detecting video that I upload. Um, unfortunately, I'm not living in Vietnam anymore, so I spend most of my time in Seoul in South Korea. And yeah, there's not a lot of beaches there for metal detecting. So um, my plan is though to still upload videos to this channel. I didn't really want to let it die a slow death. so. Uh, I bought a new GoPro and I'm going to start doing some, I guess they call it like traveling, walking style videos where I am in some kind of interesting parts of the world. So it'd be a shame just to, yeah, as I said, let the channel die. So I'm going to try this uh, walking type videos and uh, just show you guys uh, different parts of the world. I know most of you won't be interested because uh, this channel was about metal detecting, but even if 1% of you guys um, follow along, uh, that would be cool because it's really difficult to start a brand new channel from scratch. Anyway, uh, so let's move along to the wrap up. So here there were two different hunts. So I did one night hunt with Mike. Uh, they're kind of on the left here and the hunt that I uploaded was on the right. So unfortunately not a lot of interesting finds on this last hunt. Um, I did find this um, sort of stretchy bracelet and yeah, there's like a little piece of silver on there and another silver, probably a woman or children's ring. Uh, the most interesting find was this. Uh, this is a gold plated bracelet guys or bangle, sorry. It's uh, not real gold, so unfortunately, um, yeah, the gold scratches away. I did go on a night hunt with Mike, and I had a little bit of a better time. Um, I thought this was going to be a gold ring. It was ringing up low, and this one um, says Gucci on there. But this one is, I think it's stainless, like a gold style stainless. So uh, Also another stainless ring and a little silver ring and uh, two silver chains uh, as you can see here 
and I don't know about this ring. This could be silver as well, guys. I'm not really sure. And a Buddha pendant, which is most likely silver. And this one was a bit of a heartbreaker <laughs> in the um, nighttime with the lamp on. This one looked gold, but it also turned out to be fake gold. So two fake golds for that hunt and <laughs> another fake gold for the last hunt.